All right, uh, greetings family. Uh, this is Bomani Tamba, and uh, welcome to our Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment Conference Calls, mainly our tours. And today's date is August 20th, uh, 2023. And I'm here to go through all the schedule that we have for our journeys to Africa in 2023. And that is uh, Tanzania in November, uh, South Africa in December, uh, Liberia next year, for uh, March 2024, uh, Ghana for July uh, 2024, and also um, Egypt, November 2024. So those are the primary schedules that we have. Uh, so uh, everything uh, on those schedules, as far as the uh, information, the full tour itinerary, the full tour details, as far as uh, overview, the numbers, as far as what's included, what's not included, is uh, all there. So. The main thing that we always uh, this, you know, talk to everyone about is just take your time, uh, look through the newsletter, uh, which I'm going to go through after the website, and uh, look through the website, and then this, you know, the, the links are right there, whether it's on your phone or a desktop, and then you can just review the information, and then if you have any questions, I can always talk with you about it. But I always want to make sure that uh, we have a clear uh, itinerary and clear information, that way you just, you know what you're getting into, and then also... For all the countries, uh, except for uh, Liberia, I have uh, tour uh, details because all those are countries that uh, we've been to before. So we have documentation of what we have done. So you don't have to be surprised. You can uh, get an idea of what the hotels look like uh, and things that we do. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start off with uh, screen sharing of the website. Uh, so also this uh this year represent a uh, 17 year uh doing Africa tours I started in uh, 2006 in Ghana the same year uh, started in Africa for the Africans in December uh, excuse me October 2006 and then doing our first journey in December 2006 uh so everything from there is just um you know you're just working towards uh, getting better and better and more organized so as time co go along uh what you see is the journey of a lifetime and um uh so the main key of the journey is to be clear, prepared, and ready. And because um, once you're there in the country, you know, it's day to day, you're moving. But if you're clear, you're prepared, and you're ready, you know, you have no problems. And if, if not, then the best thing I usually recommend is just to go with the flow and enjoy the journey. And then, you know, it's all good. Right, perfect. So hopefully everybody can see the website. And uh, unfortunately, I do have some pictures with us, us on the beaches and things like that. So hopefully no one uh, gets uh, offended to uh, anything that we show. Um, if nothing is too graphic or anything. But the goal is to show you the all lives of uh, what we do in Africa um, and from business investment, us out there sailing around on the boat, us uh, flying internally in the country, us moving around, driving around, socializing, us doing cable cars us uh, enjoying uh, adventures, going into the forest, canopy walk, and so on. Um, nightlife, shopping, networking, and just a whole lot of this enjoying life. So appreciate everyone that uh, shows interest in our, our journeys. And uh, the journey is introduction to Africa, but also beyond the introduction to Africa. It is a way for us to build the future of what we're looking to build, uh, investments and get into a full scope of this um Competitive, competing as a business enterprise uh, to just make it uh, you know, simple and clear. Uh, so that is um, the energy from Liberia and Ghana. Uh, that's uh, the energy. The goal is to make it uh, a country where we can repatriate, live, do business, and make other moves. Uh, but uh, other countries beyond that, you know, we're just learning the country, connecting to tourism, networking, and then if people want to do certain things, we're always open to connecting the people that we have in place to assist them as best as possible. So that's uh, the business that we do, Africa for Africans Tours and Investment. So once you're on our website, uh, what you'll see is celebrating 17 years, the journey of a lifetime, highlights from our previous Africa tours. So these are slideshows from many different countries and to the point where, honestly, most of them you can't tell. Uh, some you can tell based on certain things. And so a lot of the, the pictures, I have our colorful Africa for Africans t-shirt that's just us out there enjoying nightlife. Uh, you know, something simple and cool, just enjoying the breeze. Um, 
so what you see is just different countries, different highlights. Um, and I try to show as much of our colorful t-shirts as possible to show you this, uh, the flow of this us out in the country. Uh, different countries just, uh, just you know, representing our brand in this, um, you know, pushing the energy of uh, Marcus Garvey and the energy of uh, those of us who just want to be open to uh, the future of Africa and the opportunities that's uh, there in place. So once you're on our website, uh, beyond the uh, slideshow, uh, what you see is MP3 play on the left. And it's got a whole lot of cultural music Just uh, if you just want to play that. And if not, then just mute it or you can just uh, turn off your audio. And scrolling down, this is the part. Uh, so the first two parts, I just show you the slideshow and MP3 play. It won't uh, show the same thing on your phone or any mobile device. Uh, but if you have a desktop or a uh, laptop, then uh, you'll be able to see the full presentation. But uh, beyond that, uh, you can just go right to the main menu. And then what you'll see is just a list of uh, uh, documents uh, or I should say this uh, information in, in reference to what you're looking to do. So the first thing I have on there is Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community in Ghana. And that is our foundation brand as far as this land acquisition, uh, building a community, us um, building something to where we can just invest in the town that we're living in and then create opportunities in this build on top of it to be a competitive group of people to do more in the country as we would like to do and also compete with the foreigners and other people coming in and then tap into other world of uh, investments and um, uh, you know nation building in the country as far as whether it's uh, you're building factories, whether you're creating uh, a tourist destination area. In this case, where we are, it's right here by the ocean, about one to two miles um, based on uh, the 15 and 60 acre property. So those are things that we're just uh, working on little by little. And you know, you you put your best minds together and you create something incredible. Uh, so th that's the only uh, place that we have that operation in is Ghana. And as I'm working with uh, my network in Liberia, uh, here and there, uh, we're just working on great uh, options to uh, you know, create another opportunity for those who want to live, do business, and invest in another African country. So our focus is uh, you know, West Africa as far as doing those kind of moves. Uh, and once you're on the site, uh, there is a link right below our, our Black Star, and that's Africa Tour Books. So my goal is to um, modify all the previous tour books and create an incredible tour book so that we can print out the tour books. Now, the tour books are uh, printed books and digital books, um, anywhere from 60 to 80 pages. And it has all of our tour information from the tour sites that we're going to, introduction to our, our, our staff, also introduction to the you know, you know, the Marcus Garvey vision, and in some case, uh, uh, one of the visionary presidents uh, we may have in there. And then beyond that, uh, some basic in information about investment. But then we're just showcasing all the places that we're going to go and all the things that we're going to do. And it has the updated itinerary and things like that. So it's a you know, nice program guide. Right? Our newsletter is a newsletter that we send out uh, to where you can, you know, if you're not on the newsletter and you want to be on there, you can just add yourself. If you want to take yourself off, you can unsubscribe. But it's a newsletter that I sent out with all of our Africa tours and investment information, uh, conference call, tour programs, uh, updates, and things like that. And also, so once you click on that link, uh, you see all the previous newsletter that you can click on. And also, it give you an option if you wanted to add yourself to the um, email list. All right, so scrolling down directly, I want to just get directly to our tour schedule. So what I'm going to do is just look at the main page uh, right in front of you. And uh, what you see is the last tour that we did, which was Ghana Repatriation and Investment Tours. And then now we're off to Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour, November 16 to the 27, 2023. So what I want to do is I want to come back up and I want to click on those links and then go to the, at least the tour overview. If I, and then use the tour overview as a way to go to like the tour itinerary. But just definitely want to just make sure everybody's clear on what's included, what's not included, and the tour program itself. And so all of these links, once you, once you click on them, that's where you get the additional information. So click, uh, read, and process. So, uh, and then below is this updates, uh, whether it's the next conference call. So here it shows Sunday, August 20th, and then September 17th. And then I'll work on another date. Um, I usually try to spread them out about uh, every uh, four to six weeks. And then all the links and uh, information is there. 
So these are all of our social pages and always just recommend anyone that's looking to travel with us. Uh, you, you have a world full of uh, pictures, videos, and documentation that way you can just be clear about the energy that uh, we bring and things like that. Uh, so uh, but I don't expect um, you know, the flow of how we have everything uh, would interest everyone because different people have different, um, you know, I guess, energy of what they're looking for. Um, you know, but uh, what we bring is a balance of just experience in Africa. Um, and uh, beyond the two countries I mentioned for investment, uh, it's just uh, really tourism. But uh, we still try to push our energy of investment and open everyone's mind to this. Uh, you know, like when we're in Tanzania, South Africa or Egypt, uh, that those possibilities are there. It's just, you know, we're limited on this, really just putting that energy because it's just a lot of work. A lot of energy trying to just build a program for investments, whether it's you building a community or whether you're doing something else. And, you know, so, and as time goes along, you know, we'd love to do uh, a whole lot more on the African continent. But for now, this uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, just a world full of pictures and videos. And then these are the Facebook pages that I just usually just try to post as much updates on each of the pages and then get them out as this social pages with documentation of our experience, pictures and videos. And this is the wall of just our uh, tour members. So appreciate everybody who was able to make it for all of these uh, tour group photos. And uh, this is just the beginning of the of this year, our 17 year. And this is Ghana, May 2023, Senegal and Gambia, April 2023. So those are two uh, groups and these are two circle sites. At the top is, uh, is the Black Star uh, Independence Square and below is uh, Gori Island, the uh, African Holocaust dungeon sites right off the coast of Dakar, Senegal. And not all of the, the uh, backgrounds are always historic, but somehow we're able to make it work uh, with some of the group photos. So the popular ones you're gonna always see is us at uh, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, which has been rede uh, redesigned. And for those who are looking to travel with us to next year to Ghana, it's a whole different presentation. So I'm making sure I get you know, get all my uh, updated equipment ready to go and to shoot the best footage in the highest quality there. Uh, it's an incredible uh, presentation. And that's what I love about Ghana. Ghana, Ghana has a lot of these uh, incredible historical uh, cultural sites. And I'm always saying to other countries who have the history and the culture, they, you know, they have to step it up and uh, do the same presentation. And so scrolling down, there's uh, more of our, our Ghana tours. And I'm just going to go through this uh, real quick um, and just showing everyone just the history of our group energy. And sometimes we're able to do the group pictures with the t-shirts and sometimes not, but more so now I have it all worked out. Uh, so what you see a lot of is our Ghana, Tanzania, Senegal, and the Gambia. Uh, so as I mentioned, expanding to Egypt and also Liberia. So those are the new countries that you won't see on here. So some big groups, some uh, small groups, and it's Brazil is the only time we ever went outside of Africa. And then the Ethiopia one is just the uh, only time we ever got a chance to go to Ethiopia. Uh, so maybe in the future. And after the school on past, these, uh, these are all single year journey. So we've upped it. Um, and as time goes along, the goal is just to get better and get better and put ourselves in a stronger position. So this was the fact finding journeys that we uh, started off with. Ghana, December, 2006 and October, 2007. So a world of a difference from the eight of us to the 42 of us within 10 months. And so the ancestors has, has blessed us with the energy for us to just reconnect our, our people and also just be able to build something special in the future. And the future part is what I really want most of us to open our minds to, but don't want to just uh, force people to, you know, to just think about this investing in this making moves in Africa, but uh, the future of the continent. Uh, so we want to get involved in as many things as possible. And for those who want to know more and ever want to talk more, always open to ideas as we're looking to build more of uh, in that direction. And so right below, um, listen, uh, right below our last uh, journey, our first journey, our first two journeys is the uh, Liberia Reconnection Banner. So that is the energy that uh, we're putting more and more time into. I've done a lot of live videos with my good brother, Kala Genesis. We have also this interview other people that's working with us for Liberia and trying to showcase more positive energy and 
build from there and just use it as a fresh energy that uh, you know people haven't tapped into recently. Uh, people have gone to many other countries across West Africa, and this uh, is right there in the middle of West Africa, with a uh, great uh, you know coast and great fertile land and great opportunities and the fact that our ancestors in America build a foundation uh, that's something to build upon, just like uh, you know Kwame Nkrumah connected us to Ghana, and we're built from there. So those are the history and the connection. All right, so family, let me scroll back up and let me click on our Tanzania roots uh, journey. All right, so here we have our general terms, overview, itinerary, visa, English to Kiswahili, improving your immune system, departure reminder list. And the departure reminder list is an updated list of just uh, what to pack, what to bring, what to be prepared for. It's a summary list of being ready. Yeah. And everything that I mentioned uh, is on all of the tour links. Uh, and the main thing that you want to click on to just be clear up front uh, is the uh, overview. So in this uh, overview, this uh, simple package uh, details, um, the full package uh, with uh, flights or the uh, package without flights. All right, and uh, the main thing to always read is to be clear, like in this situation, uh, the domestic flight is also included. Uh, and I'm trying to say, and in South Africa is the same thing too, domestic flight is also included. And then so... Basically, uh, once you uh, purchase the uh, the land package in this case, um, accommodations uh, doesn't include any flights at all. Um, and it's the same thing uh, in South Africa. So definitely recommend people to look at the prices of these things. If you want to get your own ticket, it's always good. I can always uh, assist you also. Uh, either way is uh, fine with me. My goal is just to accommodate us and just uh, make it work. And if you want a single room, that's a single supplement. And uh, once you um, scroll down some more, it's uh, the tour is included. So the biggest question you always ask, uh, people always ask is what's included. So uh, what is included is a whole lot of social business networking, whether it's uh, investment conference or whether it's just us gathering, uh, transportation and tours throughout uh, Tanzania, a daily continental breakfast and gourmet dinner, uh, three and four star hotels. And this varies based on the location that we're traveling to if you're traveling to another country. but. Uh, in this case, uh, that's what we have for Tanzania. Entrance and access to all sites and activity, daily exercise and meditation ses sessions, uh, certified English speaking tour guides. And um, so since we're talking about uh, breakfast included and gourmet dinner included, so on the part that's not included, it's $100 group tips and that covers all of the people that assist us and all the movements that need to be made uh, logistically. And then uh, no lunch. Uh, so it's only breakfast and dinner and breakfast is provided by the hotel and the gourmet dinner included includes either a, a, a buffet at the, the uh, hotel itself or for us to go out and have a buffet uh, at a restaurant or we do menus or we do menus at the hotel. So those are the, the four ways that we work out uh, dinner and just keep it as simple as possible to make sure uh, things are, make sure everybody um, diet is accommodated. And as far as the uh, exercise and meditation session, and this is uh, basically standard for all of the, the, the tours, for those who are open to doing uh, those kind of presentations, uh, definitely uh, looking for volunteers. And if not, then you can just get up in the morning and exercise and stretch and things like that. But uh, we don't have any designated people. Uh, and the only time that we'll know if we do is you know, when someone confirmed that they'll do it. But uh, in this case, always just push that energy out there. And at one point, uh, we used to have a whole lot of volunteers to do those things. So just kept it on the uh, schedule. All right, so um, outside of the uh, general tour activities, uh, like uh, sunset cruise and things like that, uh, you have to think about your beach uh, resort massages and individual beach activities if you decide to do jet ski, uh, kayaking, or any of those things. So once you're in Tanzania, you're just there. Um, and it's not all of Tanzania. Arusha, we're up in the mountains. Dar es Salaam is a city, and Zanzibar Island is where we're in tropical paradise, uh, right there in the ocean, right there on the beach. And our locations are usually in Ningui and also um, 
uh, can work. All right, so Arusha is um, basically a simple energy. So what we do, we, we fly from the U.S. and all of our flights connect to Amsterdam on Delta KLM. And then we fly from uh, Amsterdam uh, directly to Kilimanjaro Airport. And once we're in Kilimanjaro, uh, we're going to drive. It's about our drive to Arusha. Uh, so what we say that in Arusha is uh, we're lodging at Kibo Palace. right? And we're there for four nights. Uh, so part of the, uh, the, the, uh, the three days that we have out, uh, one day we're going to do the Arusha National Park. So it's not a full-blown safari or anything like that. It's just we're going out to the National Park. We'll, you know, we'll break for lunch in the middle of the uh, day. And we usually just recommend everyone putting orders at the hotel for you know, some kind of um, lunch to go uh, to keep it simple. Which And these things we'll just go over you know, um, way before we leave. And also during the time it's in our session. Yeah. Uh, so it is about, uh, you're looking at roughly about three hours around the national park. So you're looking at um, a kind of makeshift map of it, uh, but you know, you're making your way around and you know, this uh, tour guide is explaining, you're in the actual tour bus. So you're, you know, uh, you definitely feel safe. You're not in one of them safari vehicle where you feel like you're just wondering and you're nervous if, you know, if, uh, you know, if an animal is gonna just leap and just jump in, in, in the vehicle, which I mean, I guess it could happen, but I'm not that adventurous to where we do these safaris and things, but, uh, yeah, the guys that do these safaris are uh, yeah, they're they're two brothers and you know that's what they do professionally. And if anyone ever just want a real safari, like we have people like come at the beginning, they do these things, or at the end, or they just do it a different time. But they take you out uh, three four days. This I would say um, is like an introduction, and it's the same thing that we have in uh, South Africa, where we're just going out to national park for about three hours. The good thing I like about Arusha uh, National Park is like an hour drive. In South Africa, that one is about a two-hour drive, so you have to get up a little earlier. Uh, but this uh, works out good, and uh, very you know interesting park. I've been able to shoot videos um, um, three times in a row, um, based on the times I've been there, and got some good footage uh, sometimes as far as animals and things like that. But like I mentioned, if you want the real action, you're gonna have to you know, do one of those packages the way you camp out at the site you know, and things like that. And I've seen um, uh, pictures of some of these. Uh, campsite they, you know they're actually luxury tents it's not what you think it is yeah but nevertheless uh those are things i you know would lo definitely love to get into more but uh, as far as on this journey it's a roots and culture journey and uh, we have that one day introduction you're going to see uh kilimanjaro mountain but also uh, mount maru is a popular mountain that's in the area arusha city tour so it's a small city so you know by the time you drive around you, you cover a whole lot the good thing about arusha is uh, or I should say Tanzania, we don't do a whole lot of driving with the exception of uh, on Zanzibar Island because uh, everything is close by in Arusha and also Dar es Salaam. And we usually set off the, the time in Arusha with the Arusha Natural History Museum and the Arusha Declaration Museum, which is just things based on independence. Um, and you see information about their founding father, uh, Julius Neri, uh, you know, uh, which is a, a great man and did great things for his country. And as you can see, they have a very stable country rising. Uh, so that's one of the things that we tap into. Uh, There's a lot of museums. So the same thing on the back end, I'm just going to uh, the schedule randomly. Uh, in Dar es Salaam, we're going to go to, um, you know, scroll down, uh, the National Museum, which is, you know, it's being upgraded. So you have more parts that you're going to be able to see. And then the uh, Village Museum. So you'll go to one, uh, the first part of the day, and the other one, you go to the other half of the day. Uh, and so it's similar here in um, Arusha, but the only difference is uh, you just have, you know, we can do both museum in, in the first half of the day, because what I do want to get uh, time for is to make sure that we visit the United African Alliance Community Center with Pete and Charlotte O'Neill, um, which are Black Panthers that moved to uh, Tanzania. So they still have the foundation uh, there and um, you know, we hadn't had a chance to go. So want to make sure that's a priority. Uh, and then for those who are bringing school supplies, bring as many as you want. Our goal is to get rid of them uh, right there in Arusha because when, you, uh, you, when you're when you flying to uh, Zanzibar, you're taking a flight. It's a domestic flight. And uh, it's only one bag allowed. The other one you have to pay for. It's like usually $50. So it's um, not much of a big deal. But if you want to have basically less weight, the time to get rid of it is with the uh, school supplies and things like that. And then, you know, while you're in... Zanzibar Island or Dar es Salaam, you can do a lot more shopping also. And then 
when you get ready to leave, you're going to be leaving from Dar es Salaam to Amsterdam and back to the U.S. Right. And the middle part of the schedule, Zanzibar Island, um, you're there for three days, so I recommend this. The first day you get there, just enjoy the beach, enjoy paradise. The second day is the only time we have anything scheduled on the tour where we're just going to visit uh, Stone Town, and this is a whole lot of history, Arab Holocaust, African slave trade history, and you, know, you have a whole... You know, a whole bunch of different um, history tour sites uh, during that area. So we do our best to spend as much time to just enjoy our stone town. Very incredible place. And it's really a stone town. Uh, and uh, we're going to be lodging right there in uh, Nungui. So it is a uh, tropical paradise. You step outside your hotel and you're just right on the beach. So that's our schedule for Tanzania. And... All right, Mr. Montekilla. And so let me uh, switch over to another journey. All right, South Africa, 2023. Uh, same thing, let me just go over the overview. And while I'm doing the uh, overview, I'll just... Uh, Talk in reference to the uh, the tour itinerary. So the main thing uh, for the South Africa tour is you uh, have the same files: tour overview, itinerary, uh, preparation details, and um, you know when it, when we do the uh, private conference call, my goal is always to go through the preparation details, uh, almost word for word, and go through the thirty points and update them also um, as far as information, meetup times, and things like that. And so South Africa journey, um, well, the price you see is uh, a price increase because uh, as a matter of fact, uh, tickets are almost like sold out. So we can't add anybody, but if anybody else wanted to go, we'd work a different route for them because that's what we can always figure out. Uh, but it is uh, one of the um, the time of the year where just everything is just pricey. So that is the South Africa journey price. Now, the same thing uh, that's uh, included uh, this um Transportation, transportation and tours throughout uh, South Africa. Uh, three and four star hotel, a um, whole lot of networking, uh, access and entrance to all sites and activities and English speaking tour guides. So the schedule uh, that we have, uh, this is me in, I wanna say this is either May or November of 2005. That is Young Bomani right there. That's, the, when you when you get to Soweto, okay, this take this picture is uh the journey from Johannesburg to Soweto, you you're gonna see the you're gonna see these same towers, but they're gonna be painted something different. So it's one of those things where you just you know you just always excited just the, and I know it's a, I know it's a tower, but it's like you know it's one of my iconic pictures. I want to say it's my first and second time in South Africa, and it was just you know just being young, excited to just travel to Africa and this uh this. You know, strong black fist is, you know, for a strong future, I guess. Yeah, but the South Africa journey, uh, uh, we, we have, have a nice, uh, incredible hotel. This hotel has been changed uh, from one name to the next, but it has always been called Parktonian. Uh, all suite hotel, so it's a high rise and you get a good view of Johannesburg. And also it has a rooftop. So one of the nights uh, we have a nice little social session and you can literally just see all of the skyline. It's just, uh, you know, uh, nice uh, energy and then if you know you're into the cards dominoes uh, playing music and things uh, if you just want to relax in your room you can relax but those are um, the reason why we just picked uh, this hotel and this will be my fourth time going to that hotel uh, every time I've been in South Africa I've stayed here it's just been always just a great welcome and it's right in the middle of the city so let's say the cultural village uh, this is one of these uh, cultural villages that um it's kind of like when I went to Kenya one time in 2005, I, I started realizing that uh, countries have these replicas of what uh, the ancient uh, villages were. And it just started being interesting. So once um, you know, I found, about this, found out about this cultural village, and this one is more of a guided tour um, versus just replicas being displayed. Uh, so uh, you're going to see a lot of historical um, cultural villages uh, in South Africa based on just the cradle of mankind of and how things were set up um, around that time. And uh, once we're in Johannesburg, it's just a whole lot of um, Soweto and Mandela. So Mandela House in Orlando, West, uh, 
West Soweto. Uh, so that's a nice, uh, incredible presentation. Uh, this, uh, small, but um, incredible. Hector Peterson Memorial, which is right outside of the museum. So we'll get a uh, one of the uh, tour guides that's local to work with our tour guide to actually just explain that uh, history. Um, it's uh, it's actually an incredible history that I've seen different presentations on. So usually like to just do our own presentations and share with people based on this, uh, us recording and our group there and guides explaining and take a nice group picture. And then uh, the goal is to have a, a guide walk us through some of these uh, museums because sometimes you have museums where uh, they just want you to walk around Right. The Apartheid Museum is what we'll get to before we get to Soweto. And that's one of those um, museums uh, dedicated to this, the history of Apartheid. And it's uh, just one that everyone knows it's very painful to be in all these places. But uh, every time I go, I just usually go because that's you know the nature of the business. You're trying to go to the most historical cultural sites and you're trying to just connect history and just you know, connect uh, a world of our people to this, our struggles and let it just, let us understand that this not to be in vain and also when we come to some of these countries be open to the future and things like that yeah uh, at constitutional hill uh which uh is a very interesting place um um it's uh it was originally a prison and now it's um it's you know there's a courthouse there so i want to uh, want to want to make sure that uh we get some good um presentations there again and also for anyone who want to see any of these presentations on everything that I just uh, mentioned, I recorded all of it um, on the last uh, journey to South Africa, in November, 2019. So that's usually on the newsletter, but also once you're on the uh, YouTube page, there's playlists and you'll see all of the countries that we have done playlists in. And most of them are just recent from 2017. Um, that's when I figured out that I can just create playlists of all of our you know, highlights from our journey and just share it uh, that way. Anyone that's interested, uh, want to come, can kind of just see what we're, you know, what we're doing, and it's, 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 it's a good getaway. The greatest thing about the journey is that everything is organized for you, and you just uh, get up in the morning and enjoy it. Uh, the only thing I would say is this: it's, you know, it's a journey, uh, so it's more of just getting up every day, uh, and just enjoying it. And you know, you, you're kind of putting in many things in in one. But if you ever want to stay back longer, or you can also use the days where there's nothing going on and just relax. And so Pilanisburg is the game reserve. It's kind of what I mentioned about um, you know, Tanzania, uh, going to the Arusha National Park. Uh, so we just get up early and we just make our journey there. And in between, or at the end of it, uh, we have lunch. And so the flight schedule, what I've set up, uh, so we have five days in Johannesburg. So we're going to fly from Atlanta. Um, everyone who uh, requested our connection flights, uh, those are taken care of. So we'll fly to... Uh, from Atlanta, uh, from Atlanta to Johannesburg. And while we're there in Jan Johannesburg, uh, we're doing our full schedule and then we're gonna fly from Johannesburg to Cape Town on South Africa Airways. Uh, so on the schedule, you'll see the, the full updated uh, flight schedule with the details to where uh, uh, the times and all the information so you can, you know, everyone could just be clear about the times that we're moving. Uh, so that's the uh, only flight. Uh, so I've been, I was able to work that out. Um, it's kind of like when I went to, uh, Tanzania, we did two domestic flights. So, you know, you go back and you look logistically at your schedule and you're like, you know, you're doing double work. Uh, the one for Tanzania was um, on purpose uh, you know, to meet a certain schedule. But in this case, uh, now we have flights um, from Cape Town. So once we get to Cape Town, we'll take, we'll take a Delta Airlines direct flight from Cape Town directly to Atlanta. Uh, so the flight actually flies, the flight actually leaves from Johannesburg and from Johannesburg, it flies to Cape Town. Um, and then it's going to leave from Cape Town to Atlanta. So that was one of the changes in the schedule o over the years. So i um, happy that uh, that worked out because, you know, that means we'd have to leave Cape Town earlier to get to Johannesburg. And it's just unnecessary time. So now we just have more time in Cape Town. Um, I did add the extra day to make it four uh, from the three last time. But now, you know, we just end up just having more time. Uh, while we're in Cape Town, uh, Cape Town has a similar history to Janisburg. Uh, this one is our District 6 Museum to learn about the apartheid history. So you'll see, uh, it will show you where, where currently it's prime real estate in uh, Cape Town. And it will show you originally how uh, uh, local or native people were just completely removed and they were brought to another set of uh, part of uh, you know Cape Town. And so when we're talking about a township tour of Langa and and this other township, 
it's um it's it, it connects you from the museum uh to those townships and you're gonna see the the, the situation as far as uh and you know not trying to put uh oppression and struggle in front of people is just you know is circle and cultural tours that's the part of the schedule that we have you know no different from just having nightlife and networking and things like that uh but I always just wanted to say, let everyone know that uh, some of these things are just, you know, it's just literally just painful, especially some of the museums and especially depends on the tour guide. But uh, it's just, you know, it's part of the situation um, and I can't tell people how to feel, but uh, just want to let people know that it's very emotional at times based on how people look at things. Uh, one day we're going to take a ferry boat because uh, we're there, uh, we, we have two tour days. Uh, so one of the uh, tour days is when we just go out to Robin Island and it's, um, it's one of those things where we just have to just get up earlier because by the time you turn around, it's like two, three hundred white folks there just ready to go there. It's really just, uh, you know, people still come there in the numbers like that. Uh, so we'll go there. It's um, it, it takes you to the actual prison uh, cell era where Nelson Mandela spent 18 of his 27 years in prison. So uh, it's, uh, it's a full tour guide and it's a full you know, island area and it's a very interesting uh, tour. Uh, so we take the ferry over and then we just do the tour and take the ferry back. And also while we're driving to uh, um, you know, Cape Town, uh, there's a bunch of fancy little places uh, we're just uh, going to visit. And also there's um, another, you know, more so of um, a fort, I would say. It's a uh, Cape of Good Hope. So you'll see this remnants of this, um, this, um, European um, this imperialism as far as uh, forts that were built. Uh, so very circle place. Uh, so I made sure that we just found all the circle cultural things to add to the schedule. Mm -hmm. Now the adventure part that we have on here is, and where is it on here? It's actually the cable cars uh, on, uh, uh, Table Town, I had panoramic, panoramic uh, sight over the city from uh, the top of uh, Table Mountain. So what I didn't put on there was in order for you to get up to uh, Table Mountain, you have to literally get into these cable cars. And the only other place I've seen that, at, uh, that I've traveled is uh, Brazil. And the cable cars take you up all the way up to the mountains. And it's a fascinating view from uh, below. And I just remember, um, I don't know who I gave the camera to, but I remember this, I recorded everything. It's just incredible. This, and you can just see the whole city of uh, Cape Town. All right, and also the good thing about uh, Cape Town is also you're right in the waterfront. Uh, so uh, this is this uh, waterfront uh, breakwater lodge, uh, which has always been this a nice location because it's in walking distance, like quick walking distance, uh, right there by the waterfront. So we usually just go to different restaurants and different places, as a matter of fact. Uh, I don't ever remember us just eating anywhere other than just the waterfront. Just, you have a whole bunch of different places. So for those who are into seafood and certain gourmet dishes, that's part of the uh, schedule. So that is our uh, Cape Town. And uh, if you just want to see more day-to-day, -day, uh, I would just recommend you just take a look at the uh, full itinerary. So that is uh, the next uh, two journeys that we have. Uh, so don't want to prolong this. Uh, and then for those who have questions, because uh, I'm going to do my best to go through all of the uh, tour schedule. Let me just click on Liberia Reconnection and Investment Tour and uh, go for this one. So same uh, documentation, uh, overview, itinerary, uh, general terms, visa process, improving your immune system, departure and reminder list. So that is our fact-finding journey to Liberia. Right, and this is one of our pictures. Our uh, our beautiful sister right there with a nice uh, gourmet uh, lunch. Right. So got a great deal for anyone that want to journey with us to Liberia, and um, uh, it's just it's one of those promotion energy. Uh, the what we have is our four star hotel accommodation. So the goal is, and then also a, a whole list of our gourmet restaurants to take you to. And uh, this will take you to the best historical and cultural sites uh, in the country. And this uh, working this to build a program organically, uh, which is, uh, you don't see a bunch of tours going to Liberia. Um, you know, I don't see it uh, anyway, but uh, the goal is us to take on the foundation of building something that's 
from the grassroots. Uh, so working with my good brother, Kala Genesis, and um, a few of his associates and a few other people that we have, and we're going to bring home a nice venture connection to Liberia. So the same uh, setup that we have. And also, um, I did have a list of different options uh, to get us to Liberia. But right now, it looks like our United Flight uh, options are going to work. Um, so uh, they've been able to give us a good uh, setup to where we can accommodate all of our group members. So more than likely, we'll go with that. Uh, World Air Maroc uh, may not work and Delta KLM may not work. So the good thing about it, uh, we just have options. So right now, uh, we are seven months away. Uh, so right now is the time. Uh, we have enough people to do group booking. So that's what I'm working on uh, right this moment. And for those who want to join us, I uh, just need to know where you're flying from so we can just add you in the group booking before uh, the airline starts skyrocketing all the prices. So that's the goal for every single last journey that we do. The goal is actually, uh, you know, we're kind of behind on this one, uh, but you can only do so much until you get the numbers of people, which is at least 10 that need to fly out uh, with you. And it's always best for us to secure a group booking because some places you travel, you can you know get tickets, I would say one to two months before you travel. And in some cases, like if you're looking to go to, go to South Africa uh, right now, is this not going to happen? Or Ghana in December or uh, Tanzania in December, is this not going to work out? Uh, so uh, that is uh, always the goal. So uh, anyone that's ever interested in connecting with us, uh, when I talk with you, my goal is just to add your city because you know, the goal is just to accommodate you from where you are and just make uh, the tour package work uh, and save you from just buying an unnecessary uh, additional ticket. And then just work with the airlines to just work out their accommodations. So once we finish our library, um, I'm going to be working next month right there on our Ghana group booking. And let's get that going because the summer prices, it's to the point where uh, once you reach out to us and we can accommodate you, we can just help you purchase your own ticket. And then you pay for package two and then this, um, you know, then you're good. So that's what the, the options are. Just trying to just make sure we accommodate more people because sometimes if we leave it up to individuals to do those things, you know, sometimes people just don't get the ticket in and it gets too much to where they're like, okay, this is not going to work. Uh, the same sequence as far as what's uh, included, a uh, full tour throughout uh, Liberia. Uh, so uh, we have just some nice locations along the coast uh, and full uh, accommodations as far as um, Uh, beyond the side, the side, the gourmet dinner um, and um, breakfast. Uh, once we take you out to sites, uh, the goal is to literally just uh, take you places where you just can enjoy the the dining. That's one of the things that we always hear. But also when we travel to some travel somewhere new, the goal is always to to always just experience uh, this uh, new dining, uh, and also to build an energy of a business and investment conference from the ground up. Uh, so from the ground up, uh, it's not uh, as simple, but um, We've been working on this uh, journey since last year, so it has been uh, developing. And uh, the, the accommodations at the uh, hotel is you're right there on the beach. And um, there's a nice uh, pool. The goal is to have pool parties. The goal is to do photo shoots on the beach. The goal is to also just have a social nightlife. And the goal is just to make it as interactive and energetic. And the goal ultimately is to just record every facets of everything that we're doing. Uh, you know, my only disadvantage at this moment is that I have no documentation. This is the only country I have no documentation. And even Egypt is the same thing. Is this, uh, I have, you know, previous videos I've done in Egypt, but the goal is always just to update the energy of just a modern uh, time in the country. So looking for you know, those of us that are coming with us, let's just, just be uh, energetic and um, just really want to show people outside of Liberia where I feel like uh, people have not shown um, and, um, work with the country as far as uh, tourism. All right, so it's the uh, same full accommodations. And um, the only thing that's not included is uh, lunch and group tips. And again, uh, with the uh, gourmet dinner, the goal is to make sure that we take you somewhere nice and social. And also, once we go out, um, for those who, once you finish and you're ready to get back, I uh, usually work out a game plan where we get you back. And for those who want to stay back and maybe just enjoy more of the social uh, place that we go to, depends on where we go. Maybe they have a, a nightlife energy and uh, we just usually stay back. And then we just usually just uh, work on a game plan to uh, get back as in, as a you know, small group. And then also um, recruiting a whole lot of people for Liberia to be with us. So I have actually three tour guides. Uh, two of them are tour guides. Uh, one is a tour guide, one is an assistant. And the other one is more 
um, you know, going to be an assistant to help us with certain things. Uh, so those are the, the videos that I have also, you know, what I've talked about uh, right there on YouTube as far as preparation for Liberia. So be along with the, uh, the other uh, countries that we have with tours. But the only thing that you just won't see is us physically there in the country. Uh, but then I have another playlist that just shows the different sites that we go to. But, you know, you know I credit people for doing what they can do. But I like to do in-depth documentation as far as uh, historical and cultural sites. You know, kind of just, just have everything ready and then have the tour guide go to work and just uh, document all of it. Um, and then keep, you know, keep um, digital um, information going as far as presentation. So right here, um, got, uh, and also there's a library of visas. So once we get uh, to that point, we definitely go to it. So got a whole long list of things on a nine day highlight uh, in Liberia. So it's a combination of uh, things as far as city tour in Monrovia, uh, visiting the National Museum of Liberia, where I'm sure I'll be able to get some good footage. Uh, Capitol Hill uh, tour of uh, Monrovia, and all these are places that's um, directly in, you know, once we get there, it's 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 not a whole lot of just uh, spending time there. So uh, we'll be able to cover a whole lot. The University of Liberia, and uh, we're gonna visit uh, Joseph Jenkins Robert Monument, the first president of Liberia. And the goal is to do an in-depth video there to where uh, our, our tour guide can explain all of the, uh, the, the historical layout of, as far as the monument. There's a, a big monument there. And it's a reflection of just uh, the history of uh, uh, black people in the Americas making their way to Liberia. Uh, so I'm one of the people that's always excited about uh, you know that kind of history because a lot of times uh, you know you, you know these are not things that you know you know we're taught. So the goal is for us to get the documentation and share because I tell everyone not everything you're going to be you know you're going to be taught in school. I mean it makes no sense for a system to be created to where they, they teach you all of the things that's going to empower you. So every aspect of every journey uh, that we do is this always this historical and this information presented to us to empower us. Providence Island, that was the 1822 settlement. Uh, so we want to organize that as best as possible to this, have a, this a professional presentation, um, uh, uh, not so much a reenactment. That would be good if we can pull that off. Um, and it's for documentation because, again, um, and connecting with my good brother, Kala Genesis, is how I know more about this and then doing my research. Uh, so it's one of those things that we talk about uh, that um, this is an incredible country and it's been forgotten. And, you know, and at this moment, we're looking for another country to connect and build it. And it had all the elements. Uh, and, you know, so we're going to take the challenge on and then document it and build it and then work with other people. Uh, so that's why I'm making sure that we have all of the historical places there. A free port of Monrovia. So some of these places, you know, we'll just drive through or drive by and then talk about it. The Organization of African Union, uh, OAU, uh, which is now uh, the AU, uh, it has this foundation in Liberia. So the goal is to just take you to places where you can just connect with that history. And then we have some uh, creative arts uh, place, some cultural places, school and we have some tropical paradise as far as uh, going down to Grand Bassa County and just uh, spending a day out there at the one or two different beaches and just enjoy boat rides and just enjoy this the energy of the country. And Robert Sport, um, um, for those who are into surfing, they do surfing there. But it's uh, the goal is to get out there and just get out uh, to the countryside and see elements of places where you can envision this, the future of, uh, you know, you know Resorts around a beautiful lake. Um, a lot of times when I look at certain places in certain other countries, I was like, if this was Jamaica, all of that would be gone by investors. A lot of times um, people don't know about some of these places or the, the, the focus is not to say, hey, uh, let's do some uh, research and now we can get into real estate investment or real estate de uh, development or just learn more about the real estate opportunities in the country. So the goal is just to, you know, take you around a journey and share these things with you. Yeah. And also, um, like I talked about the Business Investment Conference, uh, trying to get more people who are professionals in the world of law, um, land, um, and this business affairs in a country to present uh, information. So we've taken this challenge on uh, to just really just push the country, just like we have pushed Ghana. And those, are, you know, those countries have 
significance connection uh, with people like myself from the African diaspora. And uh, same thing with um, everyone else. Uh, so that's why we're looking to work it uh, in that direction towards an investment in Liberia and Ghana. So RLK Kenaja Resort and Villa. So Bob Johnson, um, uh, the person who built the Black Entertainment Television and also owned the Charlotte Ornets, uh, he built this resort. And I was just wondering when he was building the resort, I was wondering why did he go to Liberia? And, you know, but, you know, that's the reason why he's a very rich and successful man and people like myself, you know, you're not there yet. Uh, but I see the vision that he built, just like um, uh, energy of Delta Airlines was able to get into Liberia as far as our flights. Uh, so the country has those uh, potentials, uh, but um, uh, it's a it's a Ghanaian family that own a resort now. Uh, you know, people who are business people who do real estate, you know, they create uh, investment and sell it. Uh, but that is um, an incredible four-star resort. And you know, once I uh, you know, found out about that, uh, the goal was always just to go visit it. And then the place is just right in the ocean. So you can click on a link and get a, a feel of it. All right, so family, that is Liberia. Um, and let me just uh, click on Ghana and then Egypt. And then um, I'll just open things up for questions and then just go quickly to uh, YouTube. All right, so the same information in the Ghana visa. And in this case, well, in all case, um, every country that you are, you need a visa for, what I have is an organized visa email. And then in this case, the Ghana visa email, uh, not email, the application is extremely long. So I'm not sure, um, you know, I don't want things people to be discouraged. So I usually just offer as much help as possible. In this case, what I've done is typed up all of the information on every single page as if I was applying for a Ghana visa. So all you have to do is even copy and paste some of the things I have. Uh, but the email gives you uh, attachments and full details. But uh, the visa uh, guidelines here, this uh, same thing to give you information for the for the website and also give you a few details that you can uh, process. But in order for you to really just be able to just really just have everything you need for the Ghana visa, you can still look at this, but uh, just re request a visa email from me if you don't have one already. And um, I'm telling you, it is crazy, but it's doable. Um, and this is what we have to deal with as a people. And I'm mainly talking about American citizens because people from other places, um, you may not need a visa from different countries. So, so, so whether you're going to Ghana or Tanzania, like example, if you have a Jamaican visa, uh, or I should say a Jamaican passport, you don't need a visa for Ghana or Tanzania. Uh, so... That's one of those situations I tell people who have American passport that it's not in person. It's just two countries made diplomatic uh, connections, and that's how it worked out. Um, uh, and in the case of uh, Ghana, um, on the other side, um, Ghanaians tried to get, uh, in the case of America and Ghanaians, they're trying to come to the American embassy. They don't always get the visa and things like that. So I'll usually just try to share that um uh, you know, to let people know that it's the country that you're dealing with uh, they're not the ones doing certain things and um, the country of Ghana won't create a special privilege for black people in America or I don't know if any other country would do those things so uh, I just tell everybody uh, you know um, visas reach out to me I'll help you with it uh, let's get it over with get to the country and um, and I'll make it as simple as possible but that's the only thing that you ever have to just worry about on these things um, and I always recommend that do not do the visas too late. Um, I'll, always, I'll always recommend two to three months. And that is time you're allotting for anything that can possibly go wrong. The Tanzania one, you can do it. You don't have to do the Tanzania one. You can just go to the airport and do it in Tanzania. But I recommend that you just do it ahead of time because we don't want you to hold us. But even if you do the visa, it takes about three to five days. Uh, so different advantages and disadvantages for different countries. As far as Ghana, let me just go to a quick overview. Uh, this is also our 24th uh, journey of a lifetime to Ghana. So don't uh, don't go over much uh, in Ghana because there's just so much information that uh, we have out there. Uh, but the Ghana uh, flight uh, setup is most of the time I'm using uh, uh, Delta and KLM. Uh, only once or twice we have used uh, United, but uh, Delta KLM work out in this case. All of the flights are going to go to Amsterdam, and from Amsterdam, it goes to Ghana. 
Uh, so our meetup time or, in, uh, or meet and greet will be in Amsterdam. And a similar tour package are details to a T. So what we have is uh, four days in Accra, Lagan, Abri uh, Mountains. So, uh, and this is not specifically in order. Uh, these are the most incredible highlights that we're doing. Um, I just finished uh, uploading a bunch of these uh, videos from the last Ghana tour. Uh, so city tour, including Black Star Square, uh, and you'll see the Independence Arch, um, you see the, the soccer field, and uh, you see the monument of 1957 uh, Independence. Uh, so we're gonna spend some time in that uh, area. Uh, the Accra City Tour, very uh, uh, incredible. W.E.B. Du Bois uh, Center and George Padmore Library, uh, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. Uh, so all three places I just mentioned, there are also uh, memorials um, for uh, uh, the, the three visionaries who are part of the future of Ghana uh, or the foundation of Ghana. And then the Arts uh, Center is just an incredible place. It's the shop where you just, all of the arts and culture that's made in the country is there, right? Uh, the university uh, uh, campus tour. So based on how things flow, you know, sometimes you're there in the country and uh, this, the, you know, it's the summertime, maybe December or it's school is out. So, uh, but regardless, uh, we just usually drive around the University of Ghana. Uh, and it's, it goes back to from back in the days where back in, you know, when we first started doing these things, that people used to ask me, what do you, you know, what do we eat there in the country? And then uh, do they have universities and things? And I tell people that, you know, that, you know, people, you know, not only know what they know. And so it's, you know, you get these ignorant uh, information. So, you know, me personally, you know, I was like, okay, uh, people say these things. Let me just put them on the schedule and just put them in a tour book and put information out, do videos and something, something as simple as us going to a restaurant, eating, us going, driving to a university. Uh, so we have a um, few different universities uh, in Ghana and you know, you're know just either talking about it or driving to it. Uh, the Avery Botanical Gardens, uh, we have one day where we go up to the mountains and uh, we visit a uh, orphanage slash school. But while we're up in the mountains, uh, we're there at this incredible botanic gardens and we just do a walking tour. Uh, and I was telling anyone, if you just not feeling the walking and things like that, it's all good, not upset with anyone. Uh, even if I have to just uh, make sure the bus is on and air conditioning is running, we can do that. Um, it's uh, what it is. Not everyone has the same, you know, people, people are traveling with us from different age and open to different things. But I always want to recommend anyone if you just have issues with walking or you just want to limit yourself, uh, it is all good, and sometimes you just burned out and tired, or just you know, it's you have long days, right? Uh, and while we're up in the mountains, also, uh, this is um, Rita Malia, home of Studio One. Uh, I guess it's no longer there, but the uh, the remnants of it, as far as the historical place, is still there. But even more important, the uh, the foundation is there, uh, and um, tour guide will talk about it uh, while we're there, right? Also, if anyone is uh, literally just open to buying these incredible wood carving, the Avery Wood Carving Village is incredible. It used to be on the, the, the roadside when I first went there in 2006, and they built this incredible section to where you can just go in there and you can see all aspects of this wood carving. I mean, literally from you've seen a block of wood and you've seen the transformation from the wood all the way to this uh, finished product. Uh, so that's what I love about this uh, being in Ghana. You just have artisans and this people who just create incredible crafts. So all the way throughout the entire journey, you're going to be able to just uh, do those kind of shopping. So I talk about the city tour and I talk about going up to the mountains. Uh, one of the other uh, tour day that we have, we're going to go out to uh, the memorial, the African ancestral memorial wall. So there's 90 portraits of our ancestors, and that's from people from different parts of the uh, Black slash African world. And then we're gonna enjoy an incredible lunch buffet. Uh, so it's actually one of the best meals that you know we have in the country. And lodging inside our MJ Grand, so we just have nice luxury accommodations for you in Accra. Uh, 
And uh, while you're at the um, African Ancestral Wall, uh, we just do a few uh, tours of the property uh, of the uh, guest house that they have there. Also uh, visit the, uh, the up and coming library and do a full tour of the, um, of the wall. So the wall tour is long. Uh, I've recorded videos where it's an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and certain minutes, but I uh, usually break it up. But you know, this, I tell people it's, it's a real situation. That you're hot and you're, you're tired. Um, make sure you just have lots of water and then just take a seat under the shade and relax. We don't want anyone having any heat stroke. I'm fine. I'll, I'll stay up there and hold the camera for one hour and just record videos and things. But uh, based on the flow of the people that we have, uh, we see people getting burned out with we'll stop and if we have to take a few different breaks. Uh, so that's what we have uh, been able to do because sometimes we get there and it's just hot. But uh, I've also just recorded uh, different segments of uh, the Memorial Wall. So those things are also just all over YouTube. So also anyone that travels with us that you can just always uh, look at it. It's not the same as being there, but in case of uh, you know a hot day, um, that's uh, the situation. So drink lots of water and just be ready and just uh, enjoy it in a hot day. Uh, so after the uh, four days in um, Accra, uh, we're going to head to Elmina Cape Coast. And this is our uh, three days and the same thing as Kumasi, three days and the journey is over. So uh, we usually have two segments uh, like South Africa, or three segments uh, like um like Ghana and uh, Tanzania. So while we're here uh, in uh, the central region, uh, a lot of historical places, Asin Manso, the last bat of our stolen African ancestors, uh, Cape Coast or Elmina Dungeons. Uh, we're going to drive to the University of Ghana. Um, the, the venture part of it is Kakum National Park. And you're up there in a the canopy and you make your way to the forest. And I always tell anyone that if you literally physically can't make it up there, it is all good. Um, I've seen people come up there, turn back, but if you have the will and you want to make it work, uh, we have people out that can assist you. Uh, but And I always recommend that if you're traveling uh, up to the forest, make sure you have good footwear on and bug sprays and things like that because you're just in nature. Uh, not nature like some animal or something's going to come at you, but you're out there in the forest. And uh, we're crossing the, across a lot of canopies. All right, um, we're going to be um, doing all of our programs there at One Africa. And then we have another hotel uh, called Carrick Hotel. Um, and always letting everyone know if they want certain other or additional accommodations, they can get it right there at the Carrick Hotel. Uh, and One Africa is this beautiful place to be at, uh, cards, dominoes, things like that. And there's uh, lots of entertainment, uh, the best drumming, dancing, uh, and then yeah. we have incredible buffet uh, meals and things like that. And before we actually just head to One Africa, uh, we have the Black Star Pan-African Community Land Tour, 1560 acres, the town of Jahadzi, our business office, and just um, you know, us showing you the future of uh, you know, the land development that we started uh, building in, uh, in 2009. And you know, show you the homes that are built, the homes that are coming up, and show you just the future of what we're looking to build, the business district, uh, the town of Winneba, which is the closest town, so it's just a full tour energy. And then we just head to um, Cape Coast, Elmina. And then the final leg, we just slow things down a little bit um, and uh, just close out in the last three days in Kumasi. And uh, what we're looking to do is this another full uh, university tour. And this is the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So the goal is just to go to the, um, the university. And also the goal is to this uh, talk about the uh, history of the the country from there as far as this uh, Kwame Nkrumah. So this gives us a good t time to also talk more about Kwame Nkrumah. Uh, but while we're passing through the university, we're on our way to a Jitsu. Uh, so we're going to visit uh, uh, different um, you know, different cultural villages. Uh, so the first one is for Kente Cloud at Banwir. And we're going to go to Intanso, uh, where you're going to have the Dinko stamps so you can print your cloth. Uh, then we're going to journey off uh, into this another. We're going to pass by a few different uh, craft villages. And based on this, if people need to do more shopping, we'll do more shopping. But uh, the highlight of what we have uh, beyond the city tour is uh, we're going to the Ashanti Palace uh, Museum. So that's a new museum. It's open. It was a great presentation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's one of those places where they won't let me record. So I've been able to get a few recordings in over the years. Uh, but um, you know, who knows where those things are? But uh, so it's a you know, nice presentation. Nevertheless, you can just record outside. 
Yeah. And while we didn't uh, Kumasi uh, our goal is to this uh, do lunch at Ike's Cafe. It's an incredible traditional restaurant which has international menus and you just there. Usually when usually we finish all of what I'm talking about the first part of the day and we just do lunch orders ahead of time and by one o'clock your lunch order will be ready and you enjoy your lunch, kick back, relax, and we just head back to the hotel and relax. So the day's a little slower in uh, Kumasi. So family, that is our Ghana journey of a lifetime and all the things that we do this as usually just recommend everyone taking your time and looking at all information and the last thing i'm going to go over and then uh, we're just going to get things open for some questions and is uh egypt uh, so Egypt is uh, set for November 21st to December 2nd of next year. And this is our overview. A nice, beautiful layout. All of the flights are going to be on Egypt Air uh, from New York to Cairo and back. And then internally, there's a few flights in uh, Egypt. Uh, so that's a nice uh, setup that we have uh, that we're just going to be offering. And uh, the good thing about Egypt is that they have all these nice big buses, and you know they're 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 always they're one of the best in tourism. So, um, it's uh, the accommodations is a lot more luxury, but at the same time too, it's um if more people want to come, we can just fill them in a bigger bus. So right now, just uh, get more people interested and share more information. Now uh, we're a little bit of ways away, but uh, as uh, as far as the uh, the tour accommodations. Uh, it's all five star resorts. It's uh luxury now uh, cruise uh, with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So some of the lunch in this one is also uh, included. Uh, entrance all sites and activities, which you're gonna go down the list of the different uh, sites and activities. Uh, certified um, professional English speaking uh, tour guides and assistants. That's gonna just explain everything to us as far as uh, Egypt. It's always a place with a lot of questions. Some people want to know. Or the ancient Egyptians, this color, that color. It's always uh, interesting. Uh, or who really built the civilization? Did aliens come from the uh, space and build it? Or was it this uh, type of people? But you know, very interested. And I try not to get into any of the debates about it, uh, but I do appreciate um, you know, uh, people in Africa building Egypt and building also just a modern day African country where you know people can say, hey, you know, you know, we see certain energy in uh, Egypt. And Egypt just is circle just always they they just they they do it big. I mean, they create new cities, they build modern uh, you know infrastructure, uh, they create an incredible world of tourism where they just moving people in and out of the country, all over the country. Uh, so I look back at my uh, twenty uh, or my two thousand and four journey uh, to Egypt, uh, and this will mark twenty years. And uh, some of the places are similar, and you know we just stepped it up a little bit and add some new places. So the visa processing in this case will be done by our staff and our crew in uh, Egypt. So one of our good sisters, a trail on a mission, uh, she is working there and living there in Egypt. So we're just connecting together and she's going to be handling a lot of the things in Egypt and we're going to make it smoother. So when it comes time to visa, we just get your information and get your visa taken care of. Uh, so in this one, what we do is just add the fees and the processing and just make it just all included. So the few things that are not included is a uh, hundred dollar group tips, lunch in Cairo and Luxor only, uh, camera slash cam camcorder fee, which is the same thing on all of the uh, tours because I can't keep up with what place may charge one dollar or so uh, for your camera or camcorder or whatever the situation is. Usually if you just use your phone, it seems to just be okay in most places. But if you someone see you with a professional camera or camcorder, uh, they usually point to a sign and tell you they have to pay in some cases. Uh, so Cairo, we're just going to keep it uh, simple in Cairo. The Grand Egyptian Museum. So that's a new museum. We're going to be able to get to that one. Uh, Giza Pyramids and um, the Great Sphinx. ATV uh, Desert Safari. So make sure that, you know, those who are riding on the you know the ATVs, you know, make sure that you're safe and everything and just enjoy your time out in the uh, desert. Uh, Saqqara and Necropolis. Um, we're going to tour old Cairo and also uh, visit the site. Uh, uh, shopping um, area but uh, the goal is that if it gets too busy we just limit certain movements and 
got an incredible resort here uh, recommended by our sister and that's the best thing about working with professionals um that uh you know um, they can um, give you the best uh, recommendation based on experience uh, so this one and the Liberia journey, I'm working with more partners and more people and looking just to take our tourism business and energy to a different level. But in order to pull these both journeys off, we have to have a whole lot of people in place. And uh, so far, so good. This is not going to be the uh, Nile Valley uh, boat, uh, but as soon as I get uh, a picture of it or something, I will definitely uh, put it up. Uh, so luxury uh, Nile cruise, uh, Aswan to Luxor with a uh, stop in come on boat, Edfu, and this is three nights. Uh, so, you know, you get on the ship and it goes out and, uh, you know, uh, you stop at the circle places and we just, you know, we'll follow the times when we need to move and things like that. So all those things we just always go over. But uh, while you're right here um, from um, Aswan to Luxor, um, uh, we're going to be working on different uh, situations. So you're flying into Cairo from New York. And then once you get to Cairo, uh, you literally, um, make sure I'm looking at this. Uh, you're gonna be flying to. Uh, you, you're literally gonna take the the boat. Um, I'm trying to look at the. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do is uh, go to the actual itinerary because I got these things flowing. Uh, but let's go to the overview real quick. Yeah. Uh, so the the ferry boat. Uh, you're on there for three days, and that's all your meals. And we'll hit the other places that's right on here. Um. Edfu, uh, sail to Edfu, Edfu Temple. And also um, make sure that we get a chance to go to the Nubian village, uh, the noble's tomb. So Luxor, um, uh, two days, uh, but this is going to be two full days of uh, tours. And so as far as uh, the Valley of the Kings, as far as... Uh, going out to uh, different temples. Uh, this is part of the uh, busiest part of the uh, journey. And the last stop is uh, Urgada. And Urgada, this is uh, this is not the exact, uh, this is similar to the uh, beach resort. I'll make sure I get a different uh, picture, but it's a water park. Um, and you're right in the Red Sea. So if you want to do optional excursion, uh, it's uh, right there. And these are some of the optional uh, journeys. Uh, but the main thing is while you're in Egypt is a few different uh, flights. Uh, so you're also looking um, on a flight from Ogado back to, you know, because the, the main thing, everything is so far away and um, driving does not make sense uh, in this situation. It reminds me of uh, Tanzania. Uh, so I will fly, we'll get on a ferry boat and uh, we'll also do some more flying. Uh, so that's how we're going to make it around to uh, Egypt. So family, let me uh, get back to see if anyone have any questions. So this is our website, africaforafricans.org. And those are all of our journeys that we're taking in 2023 and 2024. And a quick thing I'm going to click over on is our YouTube page. So once you get to our YouTube page, uh, you can click on any of the links from the email, from any information on the website. Uh, it's um, youtube.com forward slash Bomani 2007. And you can just type in Bomani time or you can type in Bomani uh, or type in things like that. And uh, the information will come up and then you just go to the main page. So what I was talking about, uh, these are the last set of videos that's on our Black Star community. And these are all of um, some of the last few videos in Ghana. And this is just uh, Welcome Energy at One Africa. So these are the playlists I mentioned, the library preparation. It's uh, 28 videos, so that's how much uh, we've been pushing information out. And then the rest of the, the countries are just highlights from this, all the things that we have done in all of the different countries. And more about our Black Star Pan-African community, that's all of the, our videos. And then my Egypt, April 2004. So. Uh, some older videos, but most of the playlists uh, shows from 2017. And I upload this old Egypt video. Is this one of those old videos you upload? Just like some of the old footage that we did uh, in the Pan African movement. Just update certain things and show people that we build a foundation from a grassroots, from 
out there networking, connecting, doing the work. So that is the YouTube page. Uh, and while you're on YouTube, there's also live videos. Uh, different people may feel in different ways. Uh, but this is our energy, Pan-Africanism towards our nationhood, looking to get more people open to working on projects, working in groups to do different things in Africa, uh, trying to motivate, trying to just connect, try, you know, and so long videos, uh, a lot of different uh, com uh, conversations, a lot of different topics. Uh, so those are the videos I have. A whole lot, I have a whole lot of live videos and a whole lot of videos in general. And that makes up the uh, 3,800 uh, videos from uh, 2007 to now, right? And if anybody just want to keep up with anything that we do, um, the subscribe, subscribe button is there. You can click, uh, you can get whatever notifications. If you want to uh, join us on any journeys, if you want to see what we're doing, you can just uh, come to the page. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is uh, the Facebook uh, page. So from here, I have a whole lot of different uh, groups um, that I've shared information on as far as our conference call. Now, this is where I have uh, all of the uh, photos. And this is uh, the albums. Uh, so you'll see some 2022, some 2023, uh, all the way down to 2006. And this is every single country I've traveled to. And uh, this is all of the photo galleries. We just picked the best of them. Some of them are long. Um, the ones in the past are long, but most of these are two, three hundred per gallery. And some countries you have multiple gallery. Uh, so if you want to see what we've been doing, you can just check it out. Uh, you can see our groups, how we look. And what you're going to see is just a whole lot of uh, beautiful energy of Black people connecting together and enjoying a vibrant experience. All right, so family, let me stop the uh, screen sharing. So greetings, uh, family. I appreciate everybody uh, following what... Um, following uh, the uh, presentation and hopefully I didn't put anybody to sleep and hopefully it didn't go on too long. So what I want to do now is just open things up for questions. So I just want you to unmute yourself, give your name, where you're calling from, your question and what journey you're traveling on. And I'll go through your questions. Are you going to select us or we just start talking? Uh, go ahead and start talking. More than like you're, you're, you're no competition for anybody else. Um, but uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, how you doing, man? It's Eric Madden. Um, I'm planning uh, on going, going to uh, doing the Ghana 2024 tour. So my, my question is, uh, you mentioned turnaround time for the Ghana visa. Did you? I forgot uh, how many days did you say it was, or was it weeks? Uh, it takes about ten days. And did the medical re requirements change for Ghana? It's still the yellow fever and. Uh, the only thing I see now is uh, yellow fever, unfortunately. Um, so we have to find out uh, if yellow fever is available for those who need to get it. And other option is uh, uh, whatever uh, replace yellow fever, because I heard about something about it's going away and then there's another vaccine vaccination. And that's something that I'll keep everyone posted on also that's traveling to uh, Ghana. And they seem to be the only people that we ever have that issue with uh, long visas and unnecessary requirements. And you still recommend the multiple entry visa? Uh, yes, and multiple entry is going to get you anywhere from one to five years, and more than likely are closer to five years. Okay. So yeah, just uh, you can just read them off. Uh, got you. We can just go through them. And if you want to hold on and then see if anybody have had any questions, you can just always jump back in and you know run off any question that you may have. And yeah, okay, one more since nobody else talking. Um, do we have any influence over the t-shirt colors? Um, not just randomly just come up with t-shirt colors, but um, you can always talk about it. You can always give some ideas. Sometimes I don't know what colors to come up with. Like right now, I got a red, black, green, gold, and a black T-shirt on oh, over there, and that's representing the last four journeys. So I don't know what colors to come I'm, up with. So I'm okay, gonna start I'll, using the same colors because I ran out of colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'll hit always you up another color. I hit you up on the side so we can talk about it. Oh, absolutely, that sounds good, brother. Absolutely, that's I appreciate that. That would actually help. All 
All right, so um, family, for those who uh, have any questions, um, just click on unmute and introduce yourself. I have a few different people representing different uh, countries that they're traveling to this. Uh, it's an open forum for whatever country or whatever question you may have. Unless when I went to the overview for all of the countries, I covered all of the answers, uh, which is uh, definitely fine. Yeah, I, I have one question. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, we you hey, my, my, name, my name is Kyle. I'm in uh, Pennsylvania. And um, I was just wondering, for, for the, are they all different packages, like for the different spots, or are they all... Um, you go to all the different spots. Uh, every, country, have... every country is different. Uh, what I went over was a uh, oh, okay. tour package uh, for individual countries uh, based on okay. what's included, uh, the flight sequence um, and the tour sites and things like that. All right. That's what I thought it was. Appreciate you. Uh, absolutely. Uh, what journey are you in, uh, interested in? Um... I mean, I, I think we're all going together as a family, so we, I guess we all got to decide together. Yeah, he with me, but money. We're going to Ghana. Oh, oh so Ghana. Yes, yeah, so yep. perfect. So that's Ghana in July. Uh, that's perfect. Yeah, sure. So the one of the last ones that I did go over was uh, Ghana, and um, it's um, what you see right there is is some of the things that we have. It's uh, it's the journey is more than that, but it's in you know, trying to give the best overview. So definitely looking forward to meeting you and looking forward to uh, joining us on the uh, journey. Hi, my name is Beverly. And as far as Ghana goes, how, how many people do you know? Either one of your trips individually, how many people, what's the average number number of people you normally take? Uh, smallest group, uh, which is probably once or twice, was eight. And then largest groups, uh, 40, 42. Uh, okay. An average uh, about... Um, I would say about 20 to 25. Okay. Thank you. And then of recent, um, 15 to 20. Okay. And then one other concern I had is like, as far as the walking goes, I know you said you can stay on the bus and you will make accommodations, but that's something you normally see. If people, you know, they can, if they want to walk, they can. If people decide, okay, I want to stay back, you always have accommodations or something there for them. Uh, absolutely. It's kind of like when you go to a nice party and you're having a great time. The last thing you want is the person with the keys to say they're leaving. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So in this case, we tell them, go take your keys and go and have a safe journey. And we have our own ride back. You know, so, you know, um, because it's one of those things. And the same thing with moving around. Some people, some people want more for, they want to spend the whole day moving around. And some people just you know, maybe a few hours, but, and so we try our best to work it out. Um, but, we don't want to miss anything that we want to share with everyone for one or two people. So we want to make sure that we just accommodate individuals. If you need to get something to eat, if you need to get to relax in a cool uh, air condition on the bus, uh, you know, we'll make it work. If we need to get one of the members to stay back with you, we'll make sure you're good. Okay, thanks. Absolutely. All right, trying to see who else is on here. One family, um, I want to say I spent about close to about an hour going over those five uh, tour overviews and in between information. I'm hoping that someone has some more questions as far as reference to the package and the things that's included and not included. I got a question, Bomani. Hey, greetings. I, I, you know, it's Joe going, going to Tanzania. Uh, are we going to get a t-shirt like the one you got on or is it going to be different kind, different colors or whatever? You know, what's, I guess what it's going to look like. Uh, the t-shirt in the back um, is the last one that we have for Tanzania. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no idea. This, um, I'm looking at them. Um, one was, the first one was green. The second one was blue. Uh, this one was black. So uh -huh. who knows? But as far as this right here, this is a, uh, 
Tanzania um, soccer jersey. So oh. <laughs> what I usually do is I usually just, you know, whenever I get to each country, I just usually buy whatever soccer jersey. They're inexpensive. Uh, and, I got um, It's, um, you know, me, I'm just out here all the time as marketing whatever country. So uh, whether it's uh, that T-shirt in the back uh, or soccer jersey, that's usually what I wear, marketing uh -huh. uh, brand in the countries that we do things in. Okay. So that's the one on the, uh, I guess, on two-year, uh, uh, two-year, yeah, that side. Oh, okay, I see. That, that was the last one in Tanzania. I actually really like that T-shirt, actually. It was like, uh -huh. But it's, uh, yeah, so we're just trying to mix it up. Like, if you're on Instagram and you're looking at the photos, you just, just see a whole world of us that's all over the place, different colors, different energy. I got you. So how many people are going to be going to Tanzania? Or how we, officially so have, uh, we officially have 10. It's um, yeah. okay. Yes, um, yes, um, you know, it's one of those things where you um, you have a whole lot of uh, nice voices that call you and say, "Hey, I'm rolling with you. I'm coming with you." All right. And that's what we end up with. So I'm thankful, first of all, always uh, to the eight people that's coming with us. Uh, it's eight plus me and my son uh, making ten. Always okay. thankful for that. And South Africa is fourteen of us, um, including okay. uh, me and my son. Always thankful for that. Um, I was hoping for a better outlook as far as just more people uh, coming with us. But uh, that's uh, been the nature of it um, over the last few years, you know, anywhere from uh, like 10 to 20 of us. Uh, okay. So, um, but, um, but yeah, more and more people are opening up. So thank, um, appreciate energy. And what we're going to do now is just try to get everybody else ready for next year and prepared and, and you know, build strong energy. And for those who are traveling with me in, uh, in South Africa and Tanzania, just um, just take lots of smiley photos with us, and just um, um, say a lot of nice, encouraging words when we get the camera on you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, absolutely. And you got your ticket, and everything looks good with your ticket, right? Oh yeah, everything looks great. You know, I I checked over uh, you know, with the airlines and everything, made sure everything is straight. So you know, look, I'm good to go. Perfect. Absolutely. I'm on standby for anything. Appreciate your energy. Okay, and, great. I, and also, uh, I've got a few more people that I'm still working with because we still have three more months. So, um, okay, you know. okay, great. All right. Um, the next person had a question. Hi, Bomani. This is Sian and Courtney from Chicago. Greetings, Sian. Greetings. I just added you to the. I forgot to add you to the Ghana WhatsApp page. And I know. I know this. Um, yeah, question for next year for Ghana for our second trip. Um. <laughs> Are we going to Amsterdam this time or New York? Uh, yes, unfortunately, Amsterdam. The tickets to go to New York is, oh, good God Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need a visa? Because they're talking about a visa for the European Union, all the countries. Um, last I remember, if you're an American citizen, uh, you're good with your visas in Amsterdam. We, all, we have always gone to Amsterdam, okay. um, with the exception of uh, last year, we would the goal was to do something to make it work out, which it was able to work out because fortunately we had a lot of people who committed early and was just able to get them tickets early and fast. And that worked out real good. But yeah, the summertime, they've already price gouging and they haven't even came out with the ticket prices yet. So I'm trying to pace them to, to, to call them like early September and try okay. to get, uh, get us the best seats um, to where we can keep the price down. Because people have asking me about the prices going up. I'll tell them that. It's only a reflection of prices is just because of the airlines. Mm -hmm. So this time we're going to spend a couple more days because the last trip <laughs> was too short. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, spend a few weeks or so. We can find a nice little resort to kick back at in, in evening Accra. Yes. You want shopping. to go out to the countryside. That's true. That's true. To do some more shopping. We wanted to do that, to go to the mall and stuff like that. So... We're looking forward for next year again. We're gonna have fun. Plus, yeah, fun. absolutely appreciate you coming and journeying with us again. And um, and that's it. Um, and it's a similar schedule as you can see. Mm -hmm. So definitely recommend um, you know, or in any of the journeys uh, for those who have time and just want to do some more things, just stay back longer. It's no big deal for us to get the flight changed to the date that you want to leave. It's okay. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you are welcome. All right, family. So the line is open for anyone else to have any questions. Um, 
before we close out in the next uh, few minutes. Yes, uh, good evening, Bomani. This is uh, Dwayne. Um, Philadelphia going to the South Africa trip. Uh, green, Dwayne. Um, I'd like to thank you once again for your, your thorough presentation. Um, again, going over the information for all of the trips and there may even be an, another trip there out there I, I might be interested in. But I have a, uh, I have a quick question as for, I, I don't know if it's, it's been discussed or maybe I, uh, I missed it. For the South Africa trip, um, can you tell like the, the deadline for, or when should all the, the, the payments be in? For, uh, for the yes, South Africa? Um, most majority of it needed the three month mark because uh, that's when uh, tickets, uh, that's when the complete uh, flight package from the airlines, um, they want their final balance. And that's when also uh the um hotels want a certain percentage of their money, uh so three month mark most of it and then for those who need to work balances after that uh it's fine but um close to as much of it as possible and then for certain individuals we can just work out whatever we need to work out uh it's uh all good. Uh but uh, uh I have to adjust some of the times that I have on the um the general terms now because at one point the airlines was doing two months the way they wanted the balance. So that made it a lot easier, but now they want three months and okay. a bunch of things have changed. So okay. three months and, should and, be uh, about a month from now, around the 24, 25th. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. The, the payment schedule is on your website, right? Like where we put our initial payment and go from there? Yes, the uh, payment schedule. What I have it on is uh, general terms. Uh, so let me even do a quick screen sharing real quick. And this is the same as all of them. Let's click on a random journey. And so general terms, and it's not really a schedule. It's uh, it's kind of giving an idea of just recommendation. So in that, um, kind of works out the, uh, the three month mark or something like that. But um, you know, individuals, we can always work it out. It's uh, never a big deal. That's uh. Yes. I just want to put something up to make it to where yeah. people can get an and idea. This is, this through PayPal. Um, this is the um this uh this is the website, uh, Africa for Africans dot org. Uh once you click on the click on the website and you click on the tour you're interested in, you click on general terms. So this is the general terms uh talking about all the numbers, the information uh, as far as the, the terms of uh the tour itself. Right. And then, I mean, the actual location we send it, is it through PayPal or is it? Uh, um, PayPal, Zelle Pay, um, I usually have an email yeah. I send out and I can always text information. And if okay. you want to send you something, you can always just request uh, for me to send you some information and I'll just get it to you, whether it's text, uh, WhatsApp or email. Okay. Okay, thanks. Absolutely. And then for the journeys that are for next year, the only thing that they're asking individuals for is a deposit so we can reserve flights. And that's the main thing I'm going to always be pushing uh, because I don't want to get caught up with the flight situations. Uh, so that's the main thing I'm always on top of. And so, um, and especially for any summer journey or any uh, journey that's uh, in any crazy holiday time frame. Uh, so in this case for Ghana, I'm looking to... All right. Let me look at my dates I have here. Right. So I'm looking even by mid-September to get as many deposits for Ghana. And we just lock down tickets and that will put us ahead of the crazy curve. And yeah, that should work mid-September. All right. So that is an example of the general terms. And while we're looking at the general terms, I need to scroll down some more. So... And these are some options for payments that could be mailed in. And then this is a list that um, give you a link for payment options. Um, 
including credit and debit cards via PayPal. And then there's also similar information I send via email. Uh, so this is some cancellation and um, refund um, uh, details. And the best thing I always recommend is someone um, just pay a deposit and you can't make a journey, talk to me and I'll, let me just put your schedule for something else and you, know, you don't lose your deposit. So these are some of the options that I talk about that's trying to work things out for individuals because uh, things do come up. All right, so help requirements, and this also talks about gratuities, uh, documentation, tour information, the responsibilities, and then just trying to be real with everyone as best as possible and show as much detail as possible and just get you prepared. But anyone who's just interested at any moment, you can always click on the link and you can look through all of the tour information and then you can always reach out and call me and talk with me. And I'm always hoping by like a month or two months before we travel, everybody is clear, but sometimes that's not the case. Uh, but nevertheless, now we just keep on striving. All right, so family line is open. Um, wanna, I spent a long time talking, so want to hear from other people so I can just share something different from what I've shared. And if uh, no one else have any questions, now we can work on closing out. Your website paints it out pretty good. So if people read that, they it shouldn't be too many questions. Oh, yes, okay. absolutely. That's uh, always enough. a great thing, right? Enough, enough, enough. All right, uh, someone have a question? Go ahead. All right, and then um, what was sent was a newsletter. Let me share this real quick, and we can uh, close out. All right, so this is a newsletter that was shared, and what I do my best to do is just try to put together all of uh, some updated photos and then all of the um, tour links to the schedule. But um, Zoom, I'm always hoping that when you click on the Zoom link, it works with no problem. But um, Anyone have any issues can always text me, let me know. And I think the link have been working. Conference call recordings, I'd also just have a the link to this, all of the recordings for all of the conference calls. So as soon as this one is finished, the goal is to, yeah, to uh, upload it uh, and it'll be in the same playlist. And then it's a link also for payment options. And then these are the, some of the group pages that we just blend in. And then this is the, all of the current link for all of the journeys that we're traveling on. And then if I send you a newsletter for um, an example, uh, South Africa, it will have you know, it'll have the specific stuff also just directly for South Africa, especially the links for all the videos and pictures. Right, so YouTube and Facebook and Instagram link right there. And it's just a, a general tour detailed topics that I usually go over. And some of our incredible history pictures. And this is where you find all of the group photos that uh, in the small, but it shows you all of them, 30 plus journeys. So that's the good thing about the uh, newsletter. There's a lot of documentation. All right, so family, um, if and no one else have any questions, uh, let me close out. Always appreciate everyone joining us on the incredible journey of a lifetime conference calls. So hopefully everyone that's traveling with us is ready and prepared. And if anyone want to talk with me, reach out to me about anything, you can just reach out so we can just conversate and connect. All right, so family, once again, this is Bomani Tamba, and uh, thank you for joining us on our August 20th uh, Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment Conference call. Thank you. All right, let me just unmute everyone. All right. All right, thank you, and good night, family. Green is all. Thank you, Bomani. Good night. I appreciate your family. Appreciate you. And please reach out if anyone need to. I am 
always on standby and try my best to be available as quick as possible. All right, so I'll uh, take care, everyone. The journey continues. Journey continues. Thank you, man. All right, Charlie. Uh, how's everything? <laughs> just, you're chilling this what? Listening to the call. I've seen your name. Yeah, and I, yeah, I was <laughs> just listening to everybody, you know. I have one question for you. All right. Sure. For for, for uh, Ghana next year, uh, when you got to pay, what, when you got to make your initial deposit? I want to go back Ghana next year. Um, it's no rush. Uh, we can always work it out. Uh, it's no rush. But the main thing I need to do is I need to know. Uh, you already know where you're flying from. You need a flight from JFK. So. Yeah, yeah. Going South yeah. Africa and then I go, go back because, Ghana next year. Yeah. Yeah. What I have to do is I just have to call the airlines and just sign a contract with them and get them some money and make bookings immediately. So the most important thing is just, just people just telling me that they're going and I get the information and then you know they they, they lock in on a deposit and we think and get things going. But my goal is to do that. Um, uh, first thing next month, um, because right now I'm working on the one for Liberia uh, with United uh, to get uh, us going. That way, you know, tickets don't get tied up. Okay. Because uh, a whole lot of people traveling now from, from before. Akuvi, unmute yourself, Akuvi, and join the call. Yeah, so you see, it's, it, 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 I said this is the, the, the classic Tanzania jersey. Yeah, so marketing all the color that's and those two are from Ghana, right? They're the Kente clots in the back, and that's a Tanzania t shirt. And okay, and everything you can see is all computer technology over there, computers everywhere, and business stuff all over the place, and folders and drawers and organized. So, so people that's what we do here, and then that's a tag for what I used to put on my car, IT business. Uh, but Started messing up the car paint. So, all right, so all right, so take care, and then we will talk. All right. Yes, excellent. Um, yes, and uh, sure. take care. And Akubi, uh, and uh, Sian is on the uh, also. Akubi, you gonna unmute yourself? Yeah. Oh my God, Akubi is you. I can act. I think I heard you. All right, well, I guess I can't hear you. All right, so family, uh, take care. Good night. Uh, the journey continues.